This process really started in February. Yeah, it seems like it's been uh, a long road. Uh, being this like the 34th presentation. Todd Moore is an architect in charge of stating a case to the Quincy community as to why an $89 million upgrade will be beneficial. He says the public forums have been a major help in spreading the word. It's been pretty uh, satisfying because the, res the response we're getting from these forums and meetings and presentations is really very positive. Moore says a question and answer segment has made a huge impact as to how he gives his presentations. We've been able then to tailor our presentations uh, addressing some of those questions that people do have. Scott Disselhorse was in attendance for Tuesday night's meeting. He's one resident that does have questions regarding the referendum. I like to see where the money's coming from. I, I hear they say some of the money's coming from the state, but that's still us and the state doesn't have any money either, so. He also says he's afraid the cost of the project will continue to climb. When I first heard of this a few months ago, it was supposed to be 75 million and now it's 89 million and I fear that soon it'll be 100 million. According to project officials, the $89 million will be paid for by bonds and will not raise school district taxes. The project is also not allowed to exceed $89 million, not even by a penny. A yes vote on November 4th means five new elementary schools and district-wide upgrades. A no vote means $66 million of current school upgrades. Moore says in the end, he believes this is an easy choice. There are certain things that you just can't work on and replace and make better. It's really a very wise choice to put your money into new. Jack Pluta, KHQA News, Quincy.